Hey guys and welcome to another edition of TRTV. Just before I start reviewing this fantastic looking dino set which you can see in front of you there, I want to give a shout out to my friend, the Lego Cordex. That's the Lego Cordex, that's the name of the channel guys. I will put a link to their channel in the description box just below this video. So please take time just to uh, check them out, see what they're all about. They do Lego reviews. Uh, a lot of Bionicle reviews as well, Hero Factory but a, a general mix of a lot of different LEGO areas and news etc so all great information on that side guys so please check them out right onto the uh, set you can see in front of you here it is the uh, LEGO Dino set which is the Triceratops Trapper and this set number is 5885 this set comes with a total of 271 pieces and the price is £39.99 here in the UK and you get two minifigures with this which are called the Hero minifigures um, so this set comes with one sticker sheet there and the stickers are a little bit small and fiddly in places so not the best but can't complain because it's a dino set and I love dinosaurs as you probably do as well. Uh, it comes with this one manual. Uh, two minifigures there which you can see and the all important Triceratops which you, which you can see there. I'll take the minifigures out of the way because we're going to get up close and personal to those guys very shortly. I'll have to review the Triceratops as it stands there because it's quite a big piece as you can see there compared to the minifigure. Um, I've noticed as you can see that the Triceratops is wobbling quite a bit. doesn't seem to sit down very well on these back legs. You can see the gap there. Um, I'm not sure whether it's just mine or I would have thought this would have been the same on most of these Triceratops. I've got the legs in the correct position but it still seems to wobble, unfortunately. I still love it though. It comes as one body piece and then these four legs will click on, long, long legs at the front, short legs at the back and also the head is one piece and it will just slot in to the body there by that peg and that will just slot in there and you can move the head up and down or you can rotate like that so you can have it in whichever position you want the horns are made of a rubber material so is the small horn and the uh, the mouth that is also rubber and flexible if you can see there I'm actually bending the horn and I quite like that actually I quite like these rubber design pieces on these uh, these dinosaurs so it is a very nice figure like I say I do love dinosaurs I think they are really awesome who doesn't like dinosaurs? Oh, dinosaurs are cool, in my opinion. Has a nice design on the uh, eye there, the print on the eye, which is yellow, with the black pupil in the centre. Nice brown and, and dark brown colouring to the skin, which uh, is supposed to reflect the scaly type skin of the Triceratops. So yeah, that is your Triceratops guys and uh, I am really impressed with that. I've got the Tyrannosaurus Rex sets as well, both of those, and uh, I absolutely love those, but I will do a review on those shortly. Uh, onto the Trapper itself, I absolutely love this. It's a chunky beast. The tyres are chunky, the front end's chunky, it's just awesome. Really, really impressed with this vehicle. There's a cage at the back there that slides out. Your Triceratops will sit in this cage, should you wish to place it in the cage, and then that comes up. You'll notice the gap there at the back, and it's in two sections the gate panel at the back is to accommodate the tail sticking out. So as it, the Triceratops will sit quite snugly in there. So that will just slide out as I say anyway and you could keep the Triceratops in the cage to one side and uh, it's quite hollow underneath 
just a framework design. Once you've taken the, the cage off, we'll take the triceratops off anyway. And you'll see the cage is made up of three base plates and these uh, black window style sections around the side. Not too much going on on the, the cage section, but it looks good, it does its job. And uh, you know, it, it, is, uh, it is doing the job it's designed to do for this set. The stickers, as you can see, there are some at the back, and then they also run up these side pieces. And as you look at the, the chunky front end to this, I love that, I just think that's fantastic. The whole uh, chunky design of the front end there is just so appealing. Uh, there's a sticker on the top there as well with the D on, of course for the dyno sets, the D. Uh, two stickers there, and there's a sticker on the actual number plate at the front. The one thing I don't like about this vehicle is these spikes at the front, they don't sit very solid at all. Uh, they swivel around as you can see and as you're playing with it they will over time they will sit like that which is not how they are displayed on the picture as you can see behind you there. They are supposed to be straight up like that. But I mean that's just that's nothing really. If that's all I can find that I don't like about this set then it's not really worth talking about. Um, you've got some flick missiles on the side there with the uh, green translucent, sound colour green, oh, no, it's a little bit, it's lighter than the actual green used in the recent superhero set, the Lex Power Arm set. It's not as dark as that one, it's lighter than that. Okay guys, and these missiles will just flick out like that, as normal with these uh, flick missiles. It's not very stable there though guys, so if you push forward on the missile this is going to fall off. It's only held on by force. Now if I try to push that without securing that bottom piece, it will just fall off straight away. That's a bit of a design flaw there. If you are using it as a play item. Uh, nice grill at the front. Some translucent pieces there for the lights. And then your minifigure will sit in this section there. Just break the roof off and you can see there's a brown seat in there. And just one steering wheel. Not much else in there at all, and that will just fit back on there nicely. Um, I, I say that I love the tyres, the chunky tyres, soft, hollow chunky tyres, and then just a, a simple frame work underneath. And you've got a uh, axe on the side there. You can put another tool there if you've got one spare, and then it, it's mirrored the same there as well. Uh, there's a spade there, and you can just put any tool you want in these. Uh, spare sections there. Um, the silver design sticker there for the foot plate that your stick will go there for that and again it's mirrored that side. But uh, that's pretty much it for the set guys. I mean as I've said I love the, I love these big chunky sets. I really do like the chunkier the set the more mean looking the set. I, I, they really appeal to me. Um, I hope that it does to you too. But onto the minifigures anyway guys. Okay guys, so here is your first minifigure of two from this set and uh, they are called the Hero Minifigs. Simple as that, that's all they are called, the Hero Minifigs. So for argument's sake, we could call this guy Bob, <laughs> or Jeff, or Craig, you give him a name, it's up to you. But I'll go with what they're called and that's the Hero Minifigs. Uh, this guy actually features in set 5887 which is the Dino HQ so you can get this guy twice in these Dino sets I'm pretty sure he doesn't come in any others just those two uh, he comes with the red body and the uh, the beige colour legs he's got some nice print on the front there with the D and the, uh, the ammo belt which comes around his uh, shoulder and just the normal belt as well which snaps across his uh, his waist there he comes with this gun which is a tranquilizer rifle and then you get the green trank dart which just slots into the top nice bright uh, green colour that one very appealing that one uh, and print to the back as well with again the D 
and uh, this belt design just carries on round like a little utility belt design there this guy comes with this brown helmet and he comes with two facial expressions which is this one which is a bit of a, a smirk look on his face there and he's got a bit of a, a checkered design as if he's been through a, a bit of a rough time maybe a dinosaur has been chasing him and then as we go to the second expression you can see he's very shocked as if a dinosaur's nearly caught him <laughs> and a little bit more of a, a stress design on this second expression so a pretty cool little minifigure this one guys not bad okay guys so a minifigure 2 of 2 another hero minifigure for the dino line uh, this guy looks like uh, the new sheriff in town with his cool sunglasses on there comes with the black torso and the, again the beige coloured legs same as the last minifigure he's got some grenade print on his legs there so he's got a few grenades hanging from his uh, his belt there that's pretty cool which is a green colour and then he has this combat like, waistcoat jacket design which is green as well like an army green colour uh, different tools in there, pockets, lots and lots going on on that design there so it's, it's quite a nice design that one and then it carries on to the back there there's some silver as well, some metallic -y silver you can see that when it hits the light so I, I mean the actual detail on this figure is pretty outstanding to be honest guys it comes with the tranquilizer rifle as well with the, uh, the green dart exactly the same as the last minifigure comes with the same style uh, helmet as the last minifigure but it's black as you can see this one is black uh, there's the one, only one expression on this minifigure which is a little bit of a downside but it's not such a big deal um, as the detail on this figure is pretty amazing just try and get the helmet back on there having a bit of trouble <laughs> but yeah guys not a bad minifigure at all this one OK guys, so that's it for the review on this dino set, set number 5885, the Triceratops Trapper. And I hope you agree with me in saying that this is one fantastic set. Uh, I was really looking forward to these dino sets coming out, and they have not let me down. If you disagree with me, please let me know in the comments box. I'd like to know if you love these sets just as much as I do. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you probably will, but they won't be to everybody's taste as you know you can't please everybody and that's understandable anyway guys there's more of these dino sets coming up so please stay tuned as they will be coming up very shortly and like i say guys uh, please check out the lego cortex which as i said before the link is in the description box below and i hope to see you very soon on the next review so happy collecting guys